Hey, this is Andre again. It's a new video about the difference between the two ancient Slavic languages, in particular Old East Slavic and Old Church Slavonic. Today's video is about a specific phenomenon in the two languages, and that is reflexes of sounds t and d before y. So, in Proto Slavic, every time that t and d encountered following y, it produced a specific sound, which became different in both of those languages and, in fact, in all Slavic languages. The combination of consonants with the following y, or j as they call it, is sometimes called iotation because of the Greek letter iota, or it is also called palatalization, where the consonants become palatal because of the following y. Okay, to get more specific, let's look at what sounds it produced. So the Proto-Slavic combination to y produced št in Old Church Slavonic and ch in Old East Slavic. And I'm giving you the conventional transliteration of Cyrillic letters for those of you who are not able to read Cyrillic. Let's take a look at the examples. The Proto-Slavic word svetja, meaning candle, had the following reflexes. The Old Church Slavonic svešća and Old East Slavic svěča. The next word is the Proto-Slavic hotjong. It means I want. The Old Church Slavonic version of hotjong is hoščong and the Old East Slavic version is hoču. And you can clearly see the here that t produced št and č depending on the language. The second combination is d plus y. So every time the Proto-Slavic d got together with y, they produced ždj in Old Church Slavonic and ž in Old East Slavic. And we have the following words to prove it. Medja is the Proto-Slavic word for a boundary or a border, producing in Old Church Slavonic mežda and in Old East Slavic meža. The second word is a verb, I see, vidion. The Old Church Slavonic for I see is vizdion, and the Old East Slavic for I see is vizu. And it might seem that this is the end of today's video, but in fact it isn't, because there is another combination of consonants that produce the same reflexes. And I'm talking here about the combination of Proto Slavic k plus. So the reflex of the Proto-Slavic combination kt was similar to the reflex of t. It also produced št in Old Church Slavonic and č in Old East Slavic. We can clearly see that in the word for a night, which was nokt in Proto-Slavic, producing nošt in Old Church Slavonic and noč in Old East Slavic. The second word is the verb pekti, meaning to bake. The Old Church Slavonic for to bake is pešči. And the Old East Slavic word for to bake is peči. And this is the end of today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more ancient discoveries on my channel. Ask questions, post comments. See you next time.